Well, Geelong's got a pretty great sporting history as a community and as a region. Sport's been here in central Geelong for pretty much ever since the establishment of Geelong as a township. Hard to think of another place in Australia that sport plays such a significant part of the, the identity and the culture of the, the town. To be able to come down here, it a, it's a plays a huge role in people's lives. It's a place where community can come, can see sport, but also get the opportunity to come and play sport as well. Personally, it's always been a place of, of great feeling. A place of joy and fun and excitement. So Caninia Park actually goes back further than the name itself. Geelong was founded as a town in the late 1830s and by the 18, early 1850s they actually started playing sport here. It was the Carayo Cricket Club. The first grandstand was built in 1920. It wasn't always a football stadium. Caninia Park was used for a variety of different sports. It even had a zoo in it at one point. They had uh, a white picket fence around the, the ground. People used to knock the timber off <laughs> in the early days and take it home and use it for firewood. In more recent times, people really identify it with the main sports of football, cricket and netball. So netball, I believe, has been here since the 1930s. My netball career started here at these Cadinia Park courts. As a junior, I spent half my childhood down here. There was always cricket going on, there was football, there was netball. I played school netball here. Um, obviously having a large number of courts, I think a lot of kids in the Geelong community, um, this is one of the, the biggest facilities to come and play netball and to learn to play. I know when I was playing at St Joseph's, it was always the best time of year was September when you had the privilege of coming down and playing four finals down here. So a huge part of Deakin as far as community outreach is getting in there and engaging with local community projects. And a leading example for contemporary histories at the moment is the Geelong Sports Museum. We need to acknowledge a person, his name's Bob Gartland, who is a passionate sports historian. I lobbied pretty intensively to get it across the line. We've been working with Jared and his team for about 18 months now, working out uh, as far as what sort of sports will be involved. So as you can imagine, there's, there's a very long history, but you want to get down to grassroots as well as the, at the elite level. Now that the relationship is formed, we will continue to evolve the museum with Deakin's assistance, with the Contemporary Histories Department's assistance. Well, the Geelong Sports Museum will be situated on the ground floor behind the North End Goals, and it'll be just adjacent to the main entrance. The museum has the ability to tell the stories for future generations, which is the key, you know, really important, isn't it? Because if we don't tell the stories, then they get lost. Yeah, I'd be very interested to just go in and, and see some stuff in the, in the museum that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known um, if I hadn't have been in there. I know Bobby Gartland's um, got a, a great collection at his house of um, Cats gear. Hopefully some of that stuff makes its way in there. There's so many fantastic stories. We have such a strong sporting history. I've been really lucky to have a play a small role in some of the planning behind the Geelong Sports Museum. It's been a working party being involved of a variety of people from within the Geelong community that have knowledge of the history of Geelong Sport. Our hope is that it won't be confined to the built asset, that it'll actually stretch out into the precinct and into the park and that when you come into Caninia Park and you get off the train at South Geelong or where it is, you start to experience what the Geelong Sports Museum is all about. Uh, another part of it that's really exciting about the museum is the support that it's getting from, from local sporting identity. They're, they're really excited about um, supporting the museum and as part of that, offering some of their artefacts. Deakin and their Contemporary Histories Department have been fantastic at getting this off the ground with us. Really appreciative of Deakin and their continuing role and increasing role in the evolution of Geelong and Geelong sport. I would hope we're sitting here in 20, 30, 50 years time with the Canadian Park Stadium Trust and Deakin having a really strong working relationship that's evolved through and via the sports museum.